Sometimes we complain about being very upset, having anxiety, having depression. All these different feelings, these different emotions that we have, we suffer from, they're all realistic. And no one can deny that they take a toll on us as humans. But sometimes we need to look further than the calamity that we're going through, than the difficulty that we're going through. Because for the Muslim, for the believer, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has not left off any disease unless there is a cure for that. As the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he said, لِكُلِّ دَائِنْ دَوَاء For every single disease, there is a cure. And for the disease of misery, for the disease of anxiety and depression, a lot of the times we find that the Muslims, the brothers and sisters, they are far away from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And we're not taking away from uh, mental health issues, uh, issues that are realistic and that are documented and that are real. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has told us in the Quran reasons why we become in misery and why we become depressed and why we become anxious and have anxiety. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Surah Taha, وَمَنْ أَعْرَضَ عَنْ ذِكْرِي فَإِنَّ لَهُ مَعِيشَةً ضَنْقِهِ Allah says here clearly, and whoever stays or turns away from my remembrance, then for that person is a life of misery, ضَنْقِهِ And this is a clear indication from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to tell you and I, a Muslim, if you are away from me, if you are not remembering me, if you are not remembering the words that I've sent down to you, reading the Qur'an, if you are not remembering my name, then you are going to have a life of difficulty and depression. And from that, from that difficulty and depression, then leads more severe, permanent problems like diagnosed uh, conditions like anxiety, diagnosed conditions like depression, etc. and etc. And yes, that's not always the case. There are a lot of events in our life that occur that can also be a reason for these different mental health issues that occur. But for us as Muslims, we must understand that the remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is like the one that is dead and the one that is alive. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he said to us in a hadith, he said, مَثَلُ الَّذِي يَذْكُرُ رَبَّهُ وَالَّذِي لَا يَذْكُرُ رَبَّهُ مَثَلُ الْحَيِّ وَالْمَيِّتِ he says the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, the difference between the one that remembers Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the one that does not remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is like the comparison between the living and the dead. So subhanallah, my brother and sister in Islam, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is telling us in the Quran, if you're feeling a life of misery, then check yourself, check your remembrance, check your Quran, check your uh, remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala daily and know that the heart was created to remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the further it is away from Allah, the more likely it will be in misery and the more likely it would be as the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in a condition that it is not alive.